Target is down. Eyes on the target. Bruh. Ah. I have a shot. Surprise, motherfucker. Hey, we're good. Ha! 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 Gay! Hi! It's I, Crip My Pants, with Dad Bod Gaming. And we're going to be talking about Ghost Recon Wildlands today. I'm showing you here I took a while, or something like that. It's where you start off in the map. Uh, when you first start the game, this is the area you start in. Uh, the reason why I'm starting out with this is, uh, you start out here, obviously. The game is a little bit easier in this area. Kind of learn the ropes as you play this area. But as you can see here, uh, I'll be going over some of the uh, green things. That's the resources. We'll talk about that later. The blue things are the skill points, weapons, parts, and weapons. And when you're starting out in uh, Tuca, or whatever the fuck it's called, it's very important that you get all these, all the greens and blues. You will need it as you progress in the game. As this world expands, things tend to get a lot fucking harder. So you'll need all the skill points and all the resources. Uh, so make sure to get all those in Aizuka before you start to expand your game. Next, I'll talk to you about skill points and resources. So in this game, you gotta gather skill points, but also, which are blue, uh, and also you need to collect all the resources. So as you can tell in the lower right-hand corner, it tells you the skill points you need and the resources that you need as well to unlock those skills. And some skills need a particular metal to unlock, and you'll find that as you explore in the game. So starting out here uh, in my weapons mode, I maxed out stable aim because I love sniping in this game. I think it's very important and you're kind of punished if you uh, don't pick people off and play strategically. Uh, you will get murdered if you try to assault everything. The drone is my favorite tool in this game. I cannot stress enough, max this fucker out. Uh, it can uh, surveil the whole area before you go in for an assault so you can play in the way you go in you can mark targets and uh, be able to see everyone and everything uh, I've maxed out everything I can and honestly I can't wait till I level up more so I can max this thing out you can drop EMPs and bombs or grenades as you level this thing up best tool in the game hands down um, definitely take your skill points and your resources and max this thing out uh, battery and range are the two main things that you want to max out early and then stealth is a really good thing to have too as you can tell I also have mark area pretty high up there that just makes it easier to mark targets and you definitely want to max that out too uh, next it's items uh, the parachute you know, in case you get shot down in a helicopter or you want to be cool and base jump and be a tactical fuckboy for real. And also, I have C4 unlocked. I like C4 a lot, as you can tell right there, because it blows shit up. But you can strategically place those. I like to place them on the uh, gas tanks, anti-air, and generators. And when shit hits the fan, I explode all that C4. Uh, under physical, I don't really do a whole lot here. It's kind of player preference. I did, however, do bullet resistance because you get later in the game, this game gets tougher as you level up, which I really like about it. Didn't really do a whole lot in uh, um, squad either, but the one thing you want to do in squad is uh, make sure you have your extra sync shot there. That is probably your second most effective tool in the game is marking those shots you mark two 
and then you take out the third and your AI teammates will take out the other two automatically. Very handy tool to have when you're taking a base. Uh, stealth is key in this game if uh, you haven't heard it yet. As far as my build goes, I like to carry an assault rifle uh, with a uh, uh, without a suppressor and I put a compensator on it so it's more powerful uh, as you can see you have a lot of choices here and a lot of unlocks as you explore the maps I like to carry an assault rifle you know when shit hits the fan it's time to go loud it's good to have this assault rifle I have it outfitted with the grenade launcher which I also highly recommend uh, right there you're seeing the G36C uh, uh, I'm using the ACR right now and I like that a lot better, but the G36 is a really good gun too And if you have Ubisoft points or whatever the fuck that Criminal organization is you can unlock that as well and as you can see here. Oh fuck. Yeah, bitch I got the HDI 50 cal sniper rifle. This thing is tits money uh, Look up the video on its location. I'm not gonna tell you where cuz I already fucking forgot but get your hands on this fucking sniper rifle. It is awesome. Uh, even with the suppressor on it, it does a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, if you take the suppressor off, you can usually one or two shot helicopters. Next thing I want to talk about is motherfucking helicopters. As you can tell right there. Get a fucking helicopter. I'm telling you, it makes this game way more fun. You can land in certain spots, like right here. You know, I landed within about 200 meters of this base. And now I let my drone go and discharge the power machine, of the guys. drone. Got another tango. Marking all my targets. I'm staying in cover. No one can see me. I'm kind of planning my route in. Uh, marking targets and shit like that. I'm telling you right now, the drone is your best friend. This thing is amazing. Uh, great tool to have. Definitely max this out early. If you like being assault and just running in there, go ahead. If you like being raped, uh, let me know how that Sniper, goes for you. Top of the but tower. I can mark up my targets, plan my entrance, and maybe an exit if I need it. And uh, it's a great tool to have. Target marked. Roger that. Target marked. So I marked the other two targets with my drone, and you heard my shot and their two shots. They took out those two targets. So that illustrates the sync shot and how effective it is. As in a weapon. So I won't really bore you, but uh, I'm done storming the base there. Took me a little bit, but I'll we'll let the rebels know where to find right these there. supplies. I'm tagging all the resources nice and getting all the weapons. You'll see there's a little meme up there, the green and blue. Make sure you get all those every time you set foot on a base. So a little bit Here's more gameplay here, a middle lighter mission, one of the uh, tougher missions. Uh, just kind of gives airborne. you uh, an idea of some uh, later gameplay. Uh, as you progress in this game, bases are a lot harder to infiltrate. As you saw out there, I try to launch my drone, but they have a uh, jammer in that base. So I try to find that jammer and take that out so I can use my drone. Um, I'm trying to surveil as much of this base as I can before I go in and start taking people out. As you can tell, I missed my first shot there because I'm in high school. Okay, but, thankfully, that 50 cal fire is pretty fast. Uh, as you can see here, I'm trying to find my way in. Yo, uh, usually you don't want to knock. Inside the uh -huh. building. So, you'll see me plant uh, C4 here. I love doing this. Uh, like I said, fine. when shit hits the fan, they start tripping alarms and they spot you or whatever. Go hide in the building and set off while you're playing at C4. And that kind of distracts everyone. And also, if you're playing on AA, anti-air, or uh, their generators or anything like that, that can also help you. Uh, if you find a helicopter and try to take off and you didn't take out the AA, you're gonna Coming get shot down, objective area. which is not get fun. Get in there, find the instructors, and take them out. Overall, this game is fucking fantastic. I definitely recommend you give it a try. 
I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. 